Hello everyone and welcome back to Calcifer Gaming. Today's video I'm just going to be playing a little Kingdom Come Deliverance. God be with you. I gotta admit the uh, survival aspects of this game had me a little concerned. I don't really like stressing out over games a whole lot. When I found out it was supposed to be like a hyper realistic medieval simulator. It concerned me a little bit. I was like, I don't know if I really want to, I don't really like survival games all that much. You have to manage your food and your energy and all that. It's just more trouble than it's worth and it kind of takes me out of the experience of the game a bit. But in Kingdom Come Deliverance, it's really not that bad. And once you get into it quite a bit, it's, pretty manageable and you can still have quite a bit of fun with it like uh, later in the game you get a bunch of perks that'll help you out can we with do it. something about mm. like as you see right now I basically sell pretty much all the food that I get from Here hunting oh no it has a deterioration that lowers its value and can poison you if you eat it. I'll just show some of the perks right now. So, you have, most of them are under the vitality tree. You got this one right here, balanced diet. If you could manage to maintain your hunger and uh, not overeat, you get a boost to your vitality and agility. This isn't as hard as it looks like it is. It's pretty easy to find food. And this one right here, like I said earlier, it can prevent you from being poisoned by spoiled food. That could be useful if you're actually struggling with it. I personally don't find it very useful. Uh, merchants will buy food even if it's completely deteriorated to zero and rotted completely they'll buy it but it'll be sold at a lower price as you can see right here under the uh, heart icon it tells you how much uh, durability the food has this is also how you maintain you know the durability of the armor and as you can see on the mushroom here it's at zero so it's completely rotted away but if you look under the one that looks like a stack of coins, it shows the value of the item. I can still sell it. It's not worth very much, but I can still sell it. While you look at the cooked boar meat, it's still over 50, so it wouldn't hurt to eat it. And the boar meat's pretty valuable. You get 14 gold, almost 15. And uh, I just find that it's not really that hard. The only reason I my balanced diet perk isn't active right now, and you can see the, all the perks you have active right here under your buffs. The only reason the balanced diet perk isn't active right now is I was trying to get an achievement earlier on for called anorexic, where you basically starve yourself for three days. Granted, I probably should have tried to get that achievement before I got that perk, but... I wanted to get it, and I knew if I forgot about it, I would never get it, so. As you can see, I got the War Horse Ancient Map helmet. Uh, you can get this. I pre-ordered the game before it came out. When you pre-order the game... It comes with all these ancient maps, five of them, I believe, and they all lead to a treasure that gives you a part of the War Horse armor set. It's honestly the best heavy helmet I've found in the game so far. For the longest time, I was wearing the Bell Kettle hat that I got from a guard. I stole it from a guard in Tamburg in order to escape Tamburg. 
and it's had the highest armor rating of pretty much anything I've found in the game until I got this. There were other helmets, but they have face plates, and I just didn't want to waste time on them. The face plates are cool, but they can get annoying. Here, I'll show you real quick. When you draw your weapon, the faceplate comes down. And especially early in the game, this can be a real problem because combat can be really difficult early on in the game. And limiting your field of vision is not something you really want to do. But I'm going to call it for today. Just had some gameplay a little bit. Maybe I'll upload another video going over some of the combat. Earlier on the game, I was just getting killed all the time, but I finally reached the point in the game. Now I'm level 14 on my main level. I've done a lot of combat training and stuff, and I played this game before about a year ago, but I kind of lost the swing of it. Once you really get up there in the level, you really feel like you can handle the combat. And even getting outnumbered by enemies, it just is a completely different situation. Before, you would just run and run and run and hopefully kill one of them and maybe one of them will get lost. and You might survive, you might not. You just have no idea as soon as you get into combat. But later on in the game, it's just like there's another perk uh, under strength, I believe, I have that's uh, this right here dreadful that really helps when you get outnumbered because weaker enemies will just run away so you don't get outnumbered nearly as much and then the stronger enemies they'll surrender much easier to you so this helps out a lot really prevents that getting outnumbered situation and uh, alright so that'll be it uh, I'll actually do a video later on on some of the combat, give some advice and stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and more will follow soon.